Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel Lion back with another video. Today we are going to be running through our predictions for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4. I'm joined today by my brother Tom. It makes it more interesting if I could do these videos with someone because then we could put a forfeit into it. And I know Tom loves doing these videos. So the first prediction I want to start off with is I'm going to say that once again NXT TakeOver is going to be better than the main the main brand's pay-per-view. I'm not because I'm really looking forward to one particular match at some point. Uh, you'll get to see which match that is in the next video. But for now, let's go on to the matches for this pay-per-view. First match we'll start with is the NXT Tag Team Championships, which is the Undisputed Era against Mustache Mountain. I'm going to say Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly are a lot stronger as a tag team, and I just feel like they're going to retain here. Even though Mustache Mountain are really good, uh, I'm going to call for Undisputed Era to retain. I'm just saying I'm going to be them because all of them are yeah. the faction. They are probably the greatest faction in NXT history. So we're both going with the Undisputed Era on that one. Next, we will do the NXT North American Championship, which is Adam Cole defending against Ricochet. I'm going to start off by saying I love Adam Cole. Like He is absolutely amazing in the ring and I think if he goes onto the main roster, well, I'm, I'm saying if, when he goes on to the main roster, he's he's going to be top talent. But for this, I'm going to take Ricochet. I just feel like Ricochet holding that title will be amazing. Uh, we're going to see some fucking brilliant matches with Ricochet. Like, going forward, there are so many people I would love to see face Ricochet. So, yeah, I, I, I want Ricochet to win this. I'm, I'm saying I'm gold. Because I'm, I'm just I'm saying he's going to lose his uh, title at the next NXT takeover against EC3. I've not asked this since EC3 arrived at NXT. Who do you prefer now? Adam Cole or EC3? EC3. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought you might say that. Yeah, because I know you used to love him on TNA. That's why I thought I'd ask. The next match that we're going to talk about, Shayna Baszler against Kairi Sane for the NXT Women's Championship. I'm saying Shayna Baszler. They, they, yeah. they, they, are, they need to give the title a bit, a bit longer to like set up this four horsewoman against four horsewoman match. Kairi saying I've loved her since watching the Mae Young Classic, but it's hard to think of anyone who could actually stop Shayna Baszler. Like, the woman is fantastic. The woman is a fucking beast, let's be honest. Yeah. It's hard to see anyone who can actually stop her. So next we're going to talk about EC3 against Velveteen Dream. How are you feeling with this one? It is going to be a good match. Don't get me wrong. But it just seems like a filler match. Yeah, it probably is. I'm, I'm saying EC3 is going to win this to set up a title match against Adam Cole. Apart from that, that's really it. Yeah. Uh, for me, in this one, I'm going to say that Velveteen Dream is going to take it. And we've already seen a bit of a back and forth between uh, Velveteen Dream and Ricochet. I'm going to say that that's going to develop again, but this time with Ricochet as the North American champion. Uh, last match, it's been controversial online for some reason, but I'm looking forward to it. It's the last man standing match for the NXT Championship, and it's Tommaso Ciampa against Johnny Gargano. Uh, before we go on to our predictions, what are your thoughts on them doing Tommaso Ciampa against Johnny Gargano again? I don't know. I, I thought they would have left the, the last match. Just left it that called up Johnny Gargano, who really needs this call up. And they just left Tommaso Ciampa on, the terror, on NXT to tear apart NXT. The truth is, it, was, it wasn't going to be this low, was it? It wasn't going to be this match. It was going to be against... Tommaso Ciampa and Alistair Black, but he got injured, so I feel like Johnny Gargano was the perfect person to put into this. Yeah. And the truth is, anytime these two go at it, it is fucking amazing. I'm just expecting a massively good match. It's about time they went against each other for the championship. Uh, they've had great championships. 
when they actually had the matches, the mm. great championship matches. So, prediction mm. for who's going to win. Right, it's straight off the bat, I'm saying this one has got a match. It could be, yeah. It really could be. And possibly WWE supposed to have a six star match. Mm, and if, they, if they book it right, if they book it right, yeah. I, it could easily be a six star match. Because these, these two have so much chemistry in the mm. ring together. Like, it's under, undeniable, but I'm saying Tommaso Ciampa. To, Taking Tommaso Ciampa to, to win. To pick up the victory, then at the next takeover, it's going to be Tommaso Ciampa against Alistair Black. Could be a good shout, but I'm going to go a different route on this one. I'm going to say Johnny Gargano's picking up the win on this. And when Alistair Black returns, we're going to see Gargano against Black. Or a triple which, threat Which match. I'll be looking so forward to. Or you could say a triple threat match. Triple threat match. No, there's one that could be a six star match in the making if, the, if them three went at it. Yeah, that's true. But there you go. There are our predictions for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4. We're looking forward to a good pay-per-view because the matchups do look pretty good. Uh, do you want to tell the people what's going to be happening for the person who gets the most predictions wrong? Whoever gets the most rank in this in NXT takeover, they will have to do the cinnamon the cinnamon challenge. We've decided we're gonna do two forfeits, one for each pay per view. So yeah, uh, cinnamon challenge is coming up for whoever loses this one. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave it a like. Uh, let us know some of your predictions down below, cause. Yeah, it's always nice to hear what your your guys' thoughts on things. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, we will catch you guys with our SummerSlam predictions. Peace out.